Hi everyone, my name is Becky and this is my channel, Albino Moon Child Tarot. So why Albino Moon Child? Well one, I'm an albino. I'm an Asian albino and the moon child comes from two things. One, I have Pisces in my placement, in my Lilith and other parts of my uh, natal chart. So the moon represents Pisces in the tarot cards in the major arcanas. And I feel it strongly because I have abilities that allow me to feel and sense what other people are feeling. Um, the other part of it is because of the albinism, I have to stay away from the sun. Because uh, albinos ha are highly prone to skin cancer, which by the way, I do have. I have stage 3 melanoma cancer. So... Moon child it is. Love the sun, but from the shade. <laughs> so the reason why I have this channel up is because I want to help other people unblock what has been blocking them. To get out of, to, to see things from a different perspective. And to help you bring awareness to yourself as to things that you could do to unblock. I will never tell you what you need to do. We all have free will. I'm a Sagittarius. I am very independent and I do not like people inhibiting on my independence. So I will never tell you what you need to do. And if I do, it's mostly just out of suggestion. So don't take it to heart. I am very blunt, very brash when I communicate. Um, let's see, we all come from different walks of life. We've all suffered through different um, woundings, different hardships. The things that I am willing to share with you as far as my hardships go is that I have lost my left eye to diabetes and glaucoma. They were lucky to save my right eye, and I thank the universe every single day that I get to see out of my right eye. Let's see, I also have stage 3 melanoma cancer, like I said. I've ended a 14-year relationship um, because neither my partner or I were very happy. We loved each other, but we weren't very happy. We were giving, but not getting what we needed and we're very much still best of friends and that's how I like to roll I don't want hate or animosity drama free I am very drama free um, so right now as my journey goes I am living on my own Finding my self-worth and self-value. Finding the confidence to, to make me happy and to love me. And I suggest that everybody should do that. Because you can't give love if you don't have love of self. If you have nothing to give because you don't have it yourself, then why? how can you give it? It's like money, you know? Love is like money. If you have no money, then you can't give it out. If you have money, you're willing to give it out give it out anyways I hope that this introductory video gives you a little bit of insight on me my goal is to empower and inspire people to take the limitations off as far as self goes yes boundaries rules and limitations are great they help you decide where you lie what's comfortable to you and what's not comfortable to you but the limitations I speak of is limitations that you put on yourself the I can't I can't do it because of this I can't get a job because of this I'm here to tell you that you can as somebody who is legally blind and legally blind since birth I've always been told no and right here right now I'm telling myself yes. Yes, I can go for the things that I want.
Yes, one day I'm going to be a CEO of an agency that helps people with disabilities get jobs and not just get a job, make a career, make a life, a fruitful one. One that doesn't say, oh, because you're blind, you have this limitation. We can't, we're not going to hire you or you're not going to go anywhere up. No. I went from a basic cashier and a base service center to now going to a very popular agency, a very innovative agency, and I'm going in as a buyer. So the only limitations that you put is the ones you put on yourself. Other people's limitations, they don't matter because you know what's true within yourself. You know what you want. Go for it. Dream big, hope big, and take a step forward so you can live big. Namaste, my friends.